I'd like to demonstrate today a swaddle bath with Haven Williams, my um, little friend that's going to get into the tiny tub today. The tiny tub is a um, small um, bathtub that has a little temperature strip on the side that allows the parents and the caregivers to really look at the temperature of the bath water. Also with the tiny tub is a nice um, bath support that is washable and it goes down into the water to support the baby during the bath. One of the benefits of the swaddle bath is to be able to provide the baby with a nice external wrap and the baby will have less motor stress and really be able to um, enjoy the bath and have the uh, ease for the parent, the parents to handle the baby. The bath temperature should be about one to two degrees, pretty much two degrees above what the baby's normal temperature is to allow for um, warmth and to prevent the baby from being um, cold stressed. So we're gonna take Haven and place her in the swaddle bath and let me demonstrate how that works. This is Haven. She is wrapped in a swaddling cloth that's light weight. And again, you want to keep her into a nice flexed position, supporting her in the water. One hand goes under her head to keep her head obviously above the water. You really want the water at the fill line of the tub so that it's all the way up to the um, shoulders. If you're teaching a parent a swaddle bath, the daddy can hold the head and the mom can work on bathing. Use the bottom of the tub for foot bracing and the swaddling cloth actually keeps the baby, again, like we've discussed, contained and warm. I usually have an additional um, water on the side to add if the baby needs some extra warmth and for clean um, water for needed for eye care and then at the end for her um, hair. Your babies will not cry during swaddle bathing, shouldn't cry. Sometimes they might a little bit. And what you get is a parent who feels a lot more comfortable with bathing their baby because bathing is one of those things that they're very scared of and afraid that they're going to have a hard time with. Now, the trick is getting that open. When you go to um, actually wash the baby or bathe the baby, you'll take one peel back one quadrant at a time and bathe one extremity and then re-swaddle. I've had the lotion in the water in order to get it to a nice temperature. You, I like using my hand. You can teach parents hand or you can teach parents using a washcloth. You bathe one extremity. and re-swaddle, moving to the other extremity. Again, hands are nice because you can get that nice human touch and get into those crevices and then re-swaddle. The swaddle bath should really only take about seven to 10 minutes just to prevent the baby from getting cold. So you might wanna let your parents know that, not to move quickly, but just to be aware that the water starts to cool down pretty quickly. One of the things that can be done is a supplemental heat can be added to your infant and your parent if they're just learning and you anticipate it might take a little bit longer. Washing the foot. The swaddle cloth has a pocket that you can undo in order to get to the baby's genitalia. 
You can, the babies aren't real dirty, so we're not looking at, they didn't play in the, in the mud puddle, so we're not looking at really scrubbing. We're just looking at a nice therapeutic time to bathe the baby. In order to bathe the baby's back, I teach parents to go under and rub through the cloth versus undoing the cloth because this un disorganizes the infant. Again, I'm using the boundaries of the tub for bracing and for containment. Now, last but not least, we are going to wash the hair. I'm gonna use the clean, warm water. I always test the soap on myself to make sure it's not cold. And she's gonna get a nice shampoo. Included with the tiny tub is also a um, guide to swaddle bathing that teaches parents the steps for bathing and gives them an idea of how to involve grandparents, siblings, other people in the bath time, which is a huge family event. After the hair is done last, You want to have available a couple of blankets, preferably warmed. I'm going to add this warm water while I get my blankets. And unswaddle the baby. First, I'm going to get the blankets available. And you can have those ready to go. And then another blanket. Just right available there. Okay. This is the trickiest part of the swaddle bath is getting the baby out of the tub. The swaddling cloth is opened exposing the baby and left in the tub, bringing the baby out and to the mother or the parent, and then quickly wrapping the baby to dry. An additional blanket can be added for the head, and now we have Haven who should be clean and also ready to go to her mama for feeding. The swaddle bath um, does reduce stress in the baby and allows the baby to also go to bottle feeding or breastfeeding because they haven't used a lot of their energy um, that they might have had a stressful event if they were to have had a traditional bath. So those are the advantages. Um, the babies can also be fed.